The space cats will kill us all. 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 Yeah. So um, what we've got to do first is like make your animation. Like here's mine, and uh, and you've got to save it as a GIF as well, as you'll see in a minute. And um, yeah, so save it as whatever you want, as long as it's a GIF, and wherever you want and stuff. Then um, yeah, so I'll just save mine then. Then you need to go into Mac Macro Media Flash. And um, when you're in there, you need to go file, um, either new and then open or just open. So file open. Then um, you need to make it go to all files. Then load the GIF that you just saved. And I'm just doing mine now. See, then it will come up as all different frames, and uh, as you can see at the top as well. Now, um, you can resize it if you press like a button with a square and then some dots on it. But uh, yeah, so anyway, you, what you need to do is click that button that I just did, which is the onion skin one. Then add a new layer, and then uh, you need to lock the bottom layer, which is layer one. Then um, yeah, so as you can see, you've got all your animations. So you have to start off by putting like a small amount of like uh, like a swift on it, like a really small amount. You can zoom in as well if you want to, so that it's like easier to make. Oh yeah, but before you do this, just so that you know, you need to, well you can, insert keyframes, which you'll see in a minute because I've done it wrong already, like, so uh, Yeah, so then you go on to the next frame at the top. Which should be like the third one or something. Then you need to, in like I said, you need to insert keyframes. So you just right click on the frame that you want to insert a keyframe on. And then just click insert keyframe. And just do that for the whole like animation and stuff. If you don't do it, then the first line that you drew will just be like in there for the whole thing, so like that. But um, then what you do is you go into the frame after it. So, uh, oh wait a minute. Yeah, I'm just clearing that first frame so that it doesn't like have it in there all the time. So uh, yeah, so now you go on to the third frame, you rub that out because I did wrong and I've rubbed it out. So um, I rub that out. Then, as you can see, it'll turn grey once you've rubbed it out, and then you'll draw the next sword swift which is like longer than the other one and you can draw like some lines in it like I do stuff like that I mean it looks a bit weird now but later on it'll look a lot better then you've got to rub out again and keep on doing it until you've like finished and so then you draw another one which is a bit longer 
Well, a lot longer. But um, anyway, if you just copy what I do, then yeah, it'll like turn out probably quite good. I'll show you what mine turned out like when I finished it. And you still like drawing lines in it and everything and stuff like that. It all adds like to the effect of it and stuff. So it makes it better and yeah. As you can see, if you like if you're new to using flash, um you can see that it's leaving the grey bits behind, but they don't like turn up in the actual animation just so you know. I've had to cut it off a bit because when I made the animation and saved it as a gif I um I did the sword a bit long so it like went off the edge of the pivot screen. Yeah, I'm nearly done now, so uh, it might look a bit weird yet so far, but it does look good when you've finished it, like really good. When you're rubbing that out as well, because you've locked the first layer, it makes it so that you cannot rub out the sword. So that's why you lock it, just so you know. So it's not like an option whether to lock it, it's just like lock it or you'll lose it. And then like you draw a really small one at the end and then yeah so then I'll rub that one out and that one's the last one and if you see it looks pretty cool now. See it looks better than it did before I reckon. Yeah and um to put it into like a movie or anything you need to go to file export movie and save it as an animated gif as whatever you want and then um, once you've saved it it'll uh, make it better you can click match screen in case you like you've changed it or anything yeah and then that's how you do it so enjoy 